Hello. This week, I receive a very interesting question. How come was I wearing shorts? It was 14 degrees Celsius outside. Well, a great friend of the channel asked me this and it got me thinking. Yes, how come? I am a Carioca. Carioca is the person that born in Rio de Janeiro. And we, we below 20 degrees Celsius, we are freezing. And then I realized it was because I was wearing this here. Merino wool. Merino wool is a fantastic wool that is thermic because a regular wool is thicker, it itches, at least for me, you know, and it only warms you up, you know, gets you hot. It's good, but it's thick. And merino wool, it's fantastic because it's thermic. So it cools you down and warms you up. Is that cool? <laughs> it's kind of magic. Okay, let me tell you the three main reasons that I love merino wool. And the third one I just discovered a couple weeks ago. First reason of all, and actually the most important one. It keeps me warm and it's thin. It keeps me warm with thinner fabric. Yeah, I don't have to wear something very thick to make me warm. So that's the main reason, which is great because you can carry so many merino wools and they're so thick. Let me show you the difference in thickness of like three merino shirts and three regular shirts. Okay, second reason. The second reason, it's fabulous for traveling because when we travel, sometimes we don't have the time to wash the clothes every day. What happens is that merino wool doesn't let the bacteria, bacteria to proliferate, to know, to make a lot of bacteria. And the bad smell is the bacteria. So for traveling, it's marvelous because sometimes you don't have the time to wash the clothes every day. So you keep using in you, in, you know, like use two times, three times. I'm doing tests. Actually, I rode with the same merino wool t-shirt underneath my, my bike shirt for four times already and no smell. And believe me, I'm a good smeller. <laughs> I smell things far, far, far away. So like, <laughs> it's amazing. That's, that reason is perfect to, to travel because sometimes you have to wear it more than once. And especially if you're going for camping, you know, camping sometimes is hard to, to, to watch it. And what we do now, instead of taking like, I don't know, 10, <laughs> I gotta tell you one thing, a funny one. The first time I went bike touring, I went to Australia, spent five months, and I took 15, yes, 15 sh cotton shirts because I thought I wear them in a, a, twice a month. I put in the wash machine and clean them, you know. <laughs> Things change. When I travel now, instead of taking those 15 shirts, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know, I was 23, you know, that's long time, long, long, long time ago. Well, anyway, instead of taking all these clothes, I'll take one no sleeve merino shirt, three t shirts, and one long sleeve shirt. Merino, all merino, all merino. Okay, so that's my second reason. Let me tell you what I discovered this week. I was going uphill every two twice a week. I go to Vista Chinesa. When it's like 15 degrees here, up there is like 11, 10 Celsius. It's cold. <laughs> so this day, what did I do? I put everything that I had. Okay, let me show you what 
was I wearing that day? I was wearing this shirt. I was wearing this shirt. I was wearing this coat that's very warm inside and was cold on top. And on the bottom, I was wearing only this here. Yes, a very thin merino wool fabric. It's amazing. <laughs> Don't ask me how it works. I can't understand it. I just think it's amazing. When I was got up there, it was 10 Celsius. Yeah, imagine. So, after we get up, we have to go down. And when we go down, you know, wind. A lot, a lot of wind. You're going downhill very fast. So, yes, even colder. So I start going down and I couldn't understand because the top part of the, the body was freezing and my legs were fabulous and the only thing that i had was this very thin merino wool pants and it's kind of how come <laughs> oh so i had to stop put my windbreaker on top of the coat on top of the shirt on top of the, <laughs> the undershirt and then i felt good so what i realized is that merino wool is wind resistant isn't that fabulous for cyclists? We feel cold different than a pedestrian, you know, because, okay, it's 10 degrees, but with the wind, oh, <laughs> it gets very cold. In this case, I was so amazed because imagine wind resistant. So I already was in love with Marina Wool. So now I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> well, resuming, for me, merino wool is one of the best fabrics to wear when you ride your bicycle because it's wind resistant, doesn't get you smelly, <laughs> and warms you up and cools you down. So it's amazing. I, I, I really, really, really do recommend. If you enjoyed this very short video, uh, thumbs up and if you're not from the channel yet, not a friend yet, sign up and the little bell. Yes, yeah, this little bell will tell you when the video is out. This usually I post them on Saturday, but sometimes something happened and I post another one in other days, you know, so <laughs> bye bye.